Breaking news, Nintendo is being sued. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. I've got Gabe here alongside me, and on this late, late August night, we just found out that Nintendo is facing a lawsuit over the Switch's Joy-Con, and we're going to break it all down for you and then discuss it a little bit. Basically, what's going on here, Engadget broke this story. Link to that original document in the description. Um, and, and what's happening is that Game Vice is an accessory maker uh, for mobile and tablets. And they also have a wiki pad, which is a tablet of their own that then slides into a slate or a shell game controller. Now, they also make just straight up attachable game controllers for tablets and mobile. But basically, this parent company, GameVice, is suing Nintendo for allegedly violating a patent for concepts used in the wiki pad, as well as its namesake add-on controllers, the GameVice, for phones and tablets. Uh, according to the suit, the Switch and its Joy-Con are too close to GameVice's vision of a combination of detachable game controllers and a device with a flexible bridge section, which would be like that, that middle piece. Yeah. Um, the lawsuit is calling for damages as well as a complete ban on Switch sales. And so far, there's been no comment from either GameVice or Nintendo. But that sort of sets the stage here. And if you look at um, some of these images, again, the Wikipad is this tablet that slides into the shell and then... Game Vice makes Game Vices, which are basically <laughs> controllers slash attachments for mobile and tablet. Um, that, like, let's be frank, they do share the same idea in theory as as a Switch. Sort of. A at least visually. Oh, oh visually, yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely visually. It's just that the Switch is, is a console. Yes. It, it's not a tablet, like... Like with this uh, wiki pad, like they have an Android tablet um, that is now since sold out. By the way, like here, this is the like puzzling thing. Like th this thing like has been irrelevant for a while. Like they're sold out everywhere. Uh, there are thirty two customer reviews on Amazon on the wiki pad seven, which is the latest one. Like it, it runs Android like four point two Jelly Bean. Like this is an old version. So I I think for me right. Game Vice, Wikipad, failure. I, I think we could safely say that. 32 reviews on Amazon. Um, so they see the success of Nintendo. They're like, hey, that looks an awful lot like the thing we did. Um, but I do want to say this up front. I, ha I, I have, like, no reservations about this. I do not think Nintendo saw what Game Vice did and said, well, that's what we're doing. Like, no way. Yeah, uh, no. I think that... I think both of us agree that this will not reach completion or that it will not reach any sort of victory for, for Game Vice. I mean... Yes, the Switch is similar in concept to what Game Vice has got going on. But at the same time, someone pointed on a NeoGAF, look at this product right here. This is the Aiken Morphous X300, which this video is dated uh, October 2015. And it, it's basically just what Game Vice is doing. And, and look, we're not legal experts, but it seems Speak to me... Speak for yourself, has been gay, became a lawyer. <laughs> It, it seems to me, and Engadget has the same train of thought, that Game Vice is bitter about the success of the Switch and the extreme sales that Nintendo has seen over the last few months and realizes an opportunity to maybe get in there and steal some of that thunder. All right, so here, here, here's another thing I'll say, right? The only thing that worries me a tad bit I'm not familiar with Game Vice as a company, and and as you mentioned, we are not legal experts. But sure. I would imagine that no like reputable business would spend the money to file a lawsuit against Nintendo if they didn't, oh yeah if they didn't believe in some way that they had an opportunity yeah. to win, right? Or the other thing that we're, yeah, we're mind, I feel like mind goes goes at least, and this is like you a know, little bit the, of a conspiracy. To me, the Game Vice stuff, the controllers, the attachables are not really a problem because I feel like so many people have done things like that for, for forever, right? Yeah. Different controllers, different attachments, all that kind of stuff. To me, it's more the Wikipad and the fact that they are saying that Nintendo violated the concept of it. Zach, so, so here's where my mind is going. And, and you're a fellow conspiracy theorist. You, you believe a lot of things are rigged. And we won't get into what, but um, I think that Game Vice is looking for a settlement. I think they're looking to make a quick buck. I fully, to me, that's what this is, because I don't think that they 
there's no way that they would like win this. Like I don't I don't think that this leads to the Switch like stopping oh, no. existing. A ban on sales, come on, no. Like I think absolute worst case scenario, yeah, like you said, settlement, but do do you look at this wiki pad and think of like this is like a third rate switch idea? No. What well, because the concept of the switch is like so different. Like like I said it earlier, the switch is a console itself. And you can clearly see the evolution from the Wii U gamepad to the Nintendo yeah. Switch. And Nintendo yeah. has a case. Even when they first unveiled the Switch, they said, hey, this console is like an amalgamation of our history of, right. uh, of, of hardware. And there isn't a big leap to be made from the Wiimote to the Joy-Con. Like, it's mm-hmm. it, it, like that's not hard to imagine how Nintendo just said, Hey, maybe we can make these things smaller. Uh, still have the, the motion control. Like there is a clear line, uh, of idea from, you know, their past hardware to, to the, to right. the switch. So I, it, I feel like, I feel like if you look at these, the switch is basically if game vice would have just fused game vice with Wikipad, <laughs> like Nintendo was like, Hey, look at that Wikipad. Look at that game. I'm sure they weren't, but in, in, this La La Land, it, it's almost like they took these... Because, t- look, the Switch, like you said, it docks, it plays on a TV, it does a lot of other things, and it definitely doesn't slide into a shell. That almost looks like a Wii U pad right there. So, <laughs> if anything, it, Wikipad what if Nintendo stole counter, this from... What if Nintendo counter <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, you, you copied the Wii U, because, look, that Wikipad, when it has the tablet in there... That basically looks like a Wii U gamepad with <laughs> yes, uglier does. controls. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, and this is what I mean by this is like silly. Like uh, again, I don't think it gets anywhere. But I, but I do think it's like it is a big deal merely f- from the fact that they are coming out and publicly, whether you want to call it risking or I, I don't know whatever you want to say that they are like. Not to be a jerk, but what are they risking? Like, what, what, like, what goodwill or like faith or what? What does Game Vice have to lose other than you know, oh, nothing, legal fees? nothing? But like, I mean, shame, I guess. Zach, Zach, <laughs> what? It's not in stock. But if the Wikipedia Seven was in stock, there might be a ton of people that go buy it just yeah. because they think that yeah. they're being sued. So by yeah, Nintendo. maybe this is just a last gasp effort to keep <laughs> this relevant. I mean, when I when I read it first, Wikipedia, I thought it was a leap pad, which it's not. Um, yeah, I mean, like, let's, let's be real here. The idea and the level of, of production and just oomph that Game Vice has behind the Wikipad, I feel like it's, like you said, it's, it's kind of grasping at straws. It's like, if all of a sudden I made, like, a little computer and I was like, hey, I had this idea first, like, and, and, and hey, let's be real. There are situations, there have been instances in the past where the little guy does win. Like, that is a thing. There, there have been instances where major corporations screw over small oh, well, yeah. developers, Apple, Apple builders. Apple has had a few settlements with... with right, but yeah, I don't think that's this is the case for the reasons we mentioned. One, the evolution, the history of Nintendo systems. Two, the common concept that has been executed by many other companies of attaching controllers to a tablet or a mobile phone. That's but, not a new idea. I mean, can, I have been offered... I, I can say double-digit review units of things just like this for a phone or tablet. Yeah, and, and let me cut you off here and say this. I don't... Nintendo... Hey, say what you will about them. Like, you know, decision-wise with, with, with some of, the, of their games and uh, the choices they make as far as, like, software and what they're putting out. But they're, they are a, a company with a lot of money, right? I don't think that they just put the Switch out without, like knowing because nintendo is aware that these things exist nintendo has a legal department i'm sure that legal department has done a lot of research before the switch came out to say hey are we in the clear here because there has been like uh these docks and stuff for for tablets and we've known about them for a long time i'm sure nintendo legal did their due diligence i I don't think they're in trouble here and the other thing i wanted to touch on and again, I'm not lawyers, but you know the iPad came out, right? That that was like the first like major tablet. There might have been others. I'm not you know uh, familiar enough with the subject to to get into detail there. But after the iPad, there was all these other tablets that you know e- everyone came out of the woodwork and had their own tablet that looked a lot like an iPad. And I don't know if there were lawsuits. I mean, we're not in that industry, but you would imagine that 
at a certain point, like consumerism and competition like this is, is sort of what America is like. Like that, that's business in America. Somebody makes yeah. something, go do it better and sell it. Like that, that's just kind of how it goes. So, uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what, what Game Vice is trying to do here. My money's on them trying to get a settlement offer of some kind. Your money's on them getting money? A little bit. Just, like, I, I, just to respond to respond to your two things. One, yeah, I think Nintendo, if nothing else, is a proud, by the numbers, do things their way company. And I don't foresee that being not the case in this situation. I, I, I cannot imagine a scenario where, yeah, they didn't, like you said, do due diligence or they didn't, you know, make sure all the boxes were checked. Second point, you know, if there's any patent uh, legal experts out there, let us know about this. But there are so many things that are similar to so many things, you know, and, and that's just kind of, especially in the tech world, that's just kind of the way things work and iterations and improvements and, you know, variations. That's just kind of how it goes. I don't know that, I mean, I don't know how that works. So if, if someone has some insight on how come, you know, Sony didn't sue Microsoft for making a controller, you know, what's what's the reason there is... <laughs> Why why can't Game Vice win a scenario against the Switch here? But let us know your take. I think this is interesting. Um, it legit <laughs> just broke. I want to know what game, in Game Vice's mind, what does damages entail? Like in their mind, how much money do they want? <laughs> yeah how many how many game how many wiki pads were not sold because of the Switch? <laughs> were were there even any wiki pads being produced? I mean, and look, we're not trying to make fun of Game Game Vice here. Look, they have a product. They tried hard. As I mentioned, and Gadget Chronicle, their you know five year history of trying to make something really cool. Um, they started off you know looking to do something much bigger, service, game streaming, glasses, free three D. It kind of whittled down to accessories. So nothing against them. I mean, if you if you ever have owned a Game Vice or a WikiPad, definitely let us know your experience as well. I think that's interesting, and hopefully we'll get some follow up uh, on this story. But that is what's going on. Nintendo being sued. In our minds, no way it it, it you know sees this all the way through. No way that. Nintendo ends up the Switch can't be sold. I mean that that I mean never say never. We're in a world where weird things happen. Yeah, but, but I, that would be like that would historical, be so really. weird. Yeah. So let us know your take. Any experts out there weigh in on this, and uh, we'll keep you posted if anything changes or is updated. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a great night. Switch Force, Switch Force.